Hey oh, guys, unless we're going to introduce it, are we? Yes, we're going to introduce it. Three reasons, okay. All right, you want to go or should I go? I don't mind. All right, let's go. Hi guys, welcome to our Assessment 3 research project. Um, our topic was using collaborative learning to increase student motivation. I'm Peter, and it was my responsibility to find out teacher perceptions of collaborative learning. Hi, I'm Natalie, and it was my responsibility to find artifacts showing the details of collaboration and the impact that it had on student learning. And I'm Gavin, I was responsible for classroom observations. terms and definitions will be used throughout our presentation today. Collaborative learning, motivation and outcome. Collaborative learning is defined by a small group of students who work together for a shared or similar goal to a task. This does not necessarily mean a key concept but could be a classroom goal. Motivation is the perceived effort shown towards a task or activity by the students. Outcomes, the targets set by the institution to achieve a common goal. So this could be set by um, NESA, a teacher, or the student group themselves. From our literature review, two themes were overwhelmingly well presented. The first was that teachers need to have well prepared lessons. The second is that groups need to be structured in a way that is conducive to learning. With theme one, well prepared lessons, teacher instructions have to be explicit before the commencement of group work. However, further intervention from the teacher may be disruptive to the learning process. According to Kangro, all classrooms are perceived as teacher based, as teachers put in the most amount of effort given in any classroom. They provide students with the ability to experience, gain knowledge and skills required to finish the tasks not only on hand, but for future skills. Sound subject knowledge and teaching strategies are required by the teacher as collaboration requires modification throughout the process. Our second theme that is well-structured groups are important in the learning process. Groups worked better when they were mixed by academic ability, gender, and social cohesion. Oxford advocates that collaborative learning is directly linked to social constructivist philosophy. Constructivist philosophy is where students learn by bouncing ideas off each other. Students gain more learning through participating in a social cultural activities over traditional dictation methods. Unique student roles within the group greatly impact the motivation, participation and performance of the group. As mentioned before, each team member was assigned a different investigation method. Gavin's role was to enter classrooms and see how students responded to different collaborative techniques. My responsibility was to ask the teachers how and when they use collaborative learning and if it motivates or demotivates students in the classroom. Natalie had the unfortunate task to do further reading and investigation to work out what other research has been done into similar topics in order to increase student motivation during collaborative tasks? For my task, I chose to enter a high school in Western Sydney to observe how collaborative learning impacted students' motivation. I sought permission from the high school and obtained signed consent form from the parents of the involved students. From the lesson plan involved in the particular lesson, I identified the key collaborative learning tasks that would be used. I also identified the three particular students that I was The lesson in particular had the groups discussing and preparing an older poem for more recent songs. Both texts contain similar themes. I completed field notes during my observation on all three students. Based on my observation, and as per my data collection protocol, I then scored the students on their motivation for the activity. 
At the completion of the lesson, I compared my findings to the previous observations and expectations of the classroom. This was to determine if there are any glaring differences between my observations and those of the teacher. I found that all three students were motivated to complete the learning activities while working collaboratively in groups. One student led the discussion for her. However, all three participated actively in the group points and interpretations. The teacher made very few intervention interventions for these students and their groups. Based on my literature review and my subsequent observation data collection protocol, that being my observations, I determined that collaborative learning does have a positive effect on student motivation to complete the learning activities. My idea was to interview uh, teachers already working in schools um, to identify how and when they use uh, collaborative work. The teachers interviewed were both pre-service teachers and experienced teachers from the Greater Sydney and Hunter Valley regions. In total, six teachers were chosen and all had varying attitudes towards collaborative classroom and its effects on motivation. Most teachers identified students' responsibility over their own learning and lack of direct control as attributes towards collaborative tasks. The results showed that teachers could easily identify students by their lack of motivation, which was portrayed as a behavioural issue or just disinterest in compulsory courses. The study I undertook was focused on addressing whether collaborative learning influenced the outcomes of student achievement in a Stage 5 music class. The study was conducted with Stage 5 music students from a Catholic school in Western Sydney. Artifacts were collected in the forms of assessment marks or grades and were cross-referenced with keywords in the marking criteria. Artifact analysis of student assessment marks have been selected as they provide details on how the students have performed both individually and collaboratively. Eight students were chosen from a class of around 25. From these eight students, one of the main findings is that the boys outperformed the girls in individual assessments, while the girls outperformed the boys in collaborative assessments. So what was learned from the data analysis? One was that teacher instruction must be explicit before commencement of group work. The second is that teachers should only intervene in student collaborative work if students are deemed to be unproductive. Teachers need to be conscious of their students' level to prepare a lesson that is both beneficial to their learning needs and capabilities. Teachers need to relinquish control, direct control of the classroom environment, promoting an observation role rather than being centre of direct attention. Gender played a significant role in the outcome and the expectation of groups. The male groups tended to perform lower than those in the female groups. Implementation and further research. Further action research questions. At the conclusion of this project, we identified several questions to complete the cyclic nature of action research. Firstly, do mixed ability and gender groups perform better in collaborative tasks? Secondly, how does a collaborative group form over several tasks compared to changing groups for each task? The cyclic nature of research requires you to identify a problem, gather background information on this problem, design a study, collect the data, analyse and interpret this data, then implement and share the findings. This process will continually improve teacher performance within the classroom. And documents the course accordingly. The implementation of our results. Our research has indicated explicit instructions and groups with multicultural facets have increased output over groups based on gender and social choice. 
Using the data from our research, we suggest that the teacher identify and create mixed ability and gender groups prior to commencement of in-depth class activities that can be utilised over several tasks to ensure collaborative performance is optimised over a period of time. These groups can be personalised by name or point system and be referred back to during several collaborative tasks.